Hey viewers, check it out. I was exploring a neighborhood sale and I saw this bike sitting in the driveway of one of the yard sales. Now what interested me was it was a skip tooth. So you see these big gaps between the teeth on the chain ring. They're also on the, the uh, rear cog as well. These bikes also have special chains with short and long links that mesh in with the skip tooth uh, chain rings and cogs. I don't see a lot of these skip tooth bikes because they're generally older bikes. A lot of them are like pre-war and when I do see them, they're, they're often like 100 plus bucks for them. So I asked uh, the lady there how much the bike was. So she was asking me for a number and I told her I didn't know. So she volunteered a number of 30 and I was like, well, yeah, okay, I'll take it for 30. According to the, the head badge, it's a roll fast roamer, but I'm not really familiar with these old bikes like this. The rear hub is a, a new departure coaster brake, which I haven't worked on before. So I'm looking forward to uh, maybe making a video of taking this thing apart, cleaning and lubing it, put it all back together again. Now the only numbers I could find on the bike were on the bottom bracket shell and it says 35SN. Now I don't know the year of the bike, but something I su read suggested that if you reverse these digits, that's the year of the bike. So that would make it a 53, but I don't know if that's true or not. Now overall the bike's in pretty good shape. It is missing a uh, nut here that holds the uh, seat down here to the spring. Uh, I would guess that'd be pretty easy to replace unless it's uh, funky threading or something. I don't know. I don't see a lot of these skip tooth bikes. Uh, they're generally pretty old. I'm guessing this bike dates back from the 30s to the 50s. That's just a guess. But if any of my viewers uh, know how to date this bike or what year this bike might be, let me know down in the comments. But like I said, for 30 bucks, I figured it's a pretty good deal because I don't see a lot of these. And I can get, maybe get a video out of overhauling the new departure hub on the back. Um, anyway, I hope you found this video useful or interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button. Be sure to click the little bell so you get notified of new videos that come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go check that out as well. Thank you very much for watching.